This feels closer to the end. Especially because a lot of the side quest characters are about done. Yeah. Kill so-and-so, take the world seed. Okay, so we probably just want to head down the cracked path. And, oh, hey. Totally missed this item the first time I came through. Moss sapient moss. Works for me. Now she's got a glowy spear thing. Then again, oh no, my shovel's glowing. Oh, shovelry has become magic. So this is the way I came in originally, isn't it? Oh, and this is the way to get back. So there's no reason for me to hop in here, but that's that's fine. Oh, this is a waste of time. Oh, okay, that's how we get down safely. Which is the way that we took, which is the way that we're here. Yeah, so we're- I'm just gonna sprint this and we're just gonna avoid the big dudes. They are no threat to me. I was wondering why her weapon was glowing and it's like, no, 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 no. My weapon's glowing too. I guess it's just a certain amount of ash infusion. I like how you know, these guys are just the regular bobs at this point. When they used to be like the biggest and the baddest dudes. Does this dude just have a giant feather on his back? He does. Huh. Fancy. Well, I guess I took a hit at the very beginning of that fight. So I know it's not your genre, but you should play Shovel Knight at some point. Oh, I absolutely intend to. The only reason why I've never played, uh, properly put the time into playing Shovel Knight is because I'm fairly certain it would hurt to play. Uh, and I'd love to play it, especially with, like, Shell or something, as, like, a co-op series, because I think that would be great. I was kind of hoping they would add uh, proper co-op to the, the DLC as well, but I get the distinct feeling that's not going to be the case. Makes me a bit sad, because I would, I would absolutely dig doing, uh, doing, doing like a co-op series of Shovel Knight, uh, specifically with Shell. I tried playing it, switching back and forth with my brother, but it didn't go as well as I'd like to. Oh, put out the fire! Whoa. Yeah, she does flips and stuff. Where's the... Where'd the spear dude come from? There we go. I don't know. So how fast is that regen? It's pretty quick, actually. I mean, obviously, I've got boatloads of uh, HP, so it's going to take a while, but still. Also, welcome, Colty Bear and Associated Raiders. How's it going? What were you playing before this? I was. I have not been observant tonight. Because for people that don't know, Colty Bear is a buddy. I bought him ramen, and then he paid me back, the bastard. What am I supposed to do about that? Pay you back? back? I don't know. Common courtesy is confusing. Yep. Ow. Well, this is why the I've got the regen. Just beat Mass Effect 2. Nice. I've never... Uh, I don't know if I'd ever stream Mass Effect myself. I am just so salty after Andromeda. I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay, can't fit through there. There's got to be a better way to get into this. Oh. <laughs> Just supposed to come through here. 
Onwards! This, this regen perk is going to pay dividends. That is not a small amount of regen. It's not enough to really be helpful in combat, but it means I don't have to... I don't have to worry about, like, chip damage or just, like, the incidental hit between fights. And that, that's going to end up, or add up. You're not going to play Andromeda, just playing the original trilogy. Probably safe. I mean, Andromeda wasn't as terrible as I think I make it out to be. I think it was just disappointing. It could have been better. And that that's what bites for me. Because, like, I know Bioware could have done better. But I guess Bioware doesn't. That looks like a treasure chest, but you don't open up treasure chests in this game, do you? Nope, nope, nope. Well, I made a mistake where I guess I'm just going to own where I've landed. Please don't get surrounded by tons of dudes. Those are tons of dudes. Well, several dudes. Lathrin War Axe. Fun. I don't know. I have high hopes for Ashen, but I low expectations. <laughs> I feel like that's probably where you should be. I, I miss old Bioware. Then again, I'm kind of hoping that, like... This has been kind of a common trend in the games industry recently. Of... You know, the old great companies kind of becoming a little bit disappointing over the years. And, you know, a lot of indie companies almost taking over. And I'm actually kind of hoping that we end up with, like, The Outer Wilds being a fantastic game. Because if it turns out that The Outer Wilds is amazing, then we'll have, like, a couple years of Obsidian being good before they completely, uh... Uh, before they completely, like, sell out and get replaced by some new indie studio, rinse, repeat forever. I don't know. I just feel like that's gonna be how the in industry ends up for the next decade or two. Until they realize nickel and diming fans is not actually a healthy way to, to keep them around. I'm a little salty. Oh, no, there's a body with an item in here. There we go. Got it. Ash-infused hooked club. Oh, that's the thing she was using. Hello, Feather Man. Oh, the Featherlands. Of course. This is probably where some amount of feathers landed, maybe? I don't know. I'm not going to think about it too hard. Hello! Look at me, I'm a delicious mustachio. Come beat me to a pulp. If you can, Featherman! I'm so glad you just get pretty chunky iframes on the dodge. That was that was a gripe I had in Darkseid. Hello? Oh! Oh! He throws his stuff. That's worrying. Okay. Wow. Look at that. Oh. Man. That is peak flexibility. Holy shit, that man's spine does whatever the hell it wants. Okay, what else do we got? Not much. I feel like I'm always missing, like, boatloads of things as I go through here. And I am! And it's a good thing I came back to, to double-check. Because we got a feather. It's not much of a bonus. But I'm sure, I'm sure it also adds up considerably as, as we go through, through the game. I picked up, like, five of each feather. That's like a... Eh, okay. I need to see his yoga instructor. <laughs> okay, so I'm pretty much just going to ignore him, honestly. I want to kill this guy. Ow. Actually, not ow. <laughs> the other guy's death. 
I guess his butt isn't that high up into the sky, but still. I don't know. I love ragdolls and death poses in these games. It's always beautiful. Okay, sapient moss. Whole big area down there, but I think I'm gonna ignore them until we clear the rest of this out. I hate getting butt stabbed just because I, I hop down. Okay. I'm not even sure why these are like enemies. I guess they probably do boatloads of damage. I need to get past this one. Yeah, I guess the point is they're they're supposed to be much more threatening to the AI companions than me. was loose. Oh man, I want to play a game where, I, I guess I was talking about this in, in uh, Hades, where I want like the ragdolls. Well, I guess Hades, it's the armored enemies. So I want to use the armored enemies as like, uh, as projectiles. I want to play a game like this, where the entire point of the game is you're fighting loads and loads of enemies, more or less simultaneously, and the, uh, you're actually supposed to use use them as uh, as projectiles against each other. You know, you kill an enemy and you knock his his corpse into everybody else as like a, a big slam attack ish kind of thing. I don't know exactly know how how to put it. Like it could be pretty rad or pretty lame. Okay, so let's actually go back and drop down. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to get backstabbed, and there doesn't look like there's a way for me to get up there. So I'm going to go check out that shoreline down here. Wee, wee. Oh, it looks like this is how, this is where you're supposed to approach from. Oh, is that a doggo? Its run animation is kind of wacky. It's an armored doggo. It's a shoveled dog. Ow. Lady, wait. I honestly can't tell which is my ally and which is not. All right, here. I'm going to track Bataron. Let's see if we can replace her with Bataron. Bat there, Bataron. Just because Bataron is super distinctive compared to the uh, kind of tan-colored... Uh, dog hide wearing lady. She looks rad, but like, silhouette identification is extremely important in these games. And so, like, weird hat lady, Jokel, uh, Flokier, like, they're all pretty identifiable. She kind of blends in with some of the other characters. The dwarf and dragon crown fought by suplexing enemies into other enemies. I really need to pick that up someday and do like a, a dragon crown series with Shell. I I've played it all of once. I, I think we played through like the first arc or like roots or something, and it was decent. Uh, but I've always wanted to play like the full thing. Okay, so this is how we get up. Over here. I, I really like exploring in this game. I've said this before, but it just feels so good. Hello! I'm not here. I should probably kill the Spearman Steve over here. There we go. Are we good? We're good. Glorious cooperation. It's beautiful. 
Let's see. Anything else? I'm like, there's always a nook. There's always a nook that you miss. I always have to check. Because I hate missing nooks. Not nothing. So what else is there here? Tent? Maybe some way to get further up? Maybe not. Well, once I'm tuning in into the stream, not within the last 30 minutes of it, assuming Wanda doesn't just rage quit. It's going to take a lot for me to rage quit this game. Like, it would have to be some kind of space laser murder thing to actually get me pissed off enough at it. It's just too chill. Like, there were some kind of bullshit moments in, uh, in Dark Souls 2 that just weren't very pleasant. But this game, maybe the first boss is kind of tough. Especially if you haven't picked up your, your sap yet. But currently, no. <laughs> okay, the enemies are starting to respawn though. Taking a little long. Maybe? Maybe she was just hiding there the entire time. I do wish they didn't respawn based on time, but then again they don't respawn based on me refilling my Estus. So I can kind of accept it. Accept it. That suddenly Cthulhu shows up and wrecks her everything. Uh, things, such things have happened in the past, and I mean, half the time I kind of make it work. Hello! Oh boy, that's a bunch of folks. Tasty mushroom, heal me faster. I must help my ally. Uh. I was here for this entire fight. Don't mind me. Farewell. Let's see. No joke. Last five days in a row. He tunes in and he's talking about ending the stream or whatever. Yeah. Unfortunately, I've just been having particularly, like, uh, enduring migraines pretty much the whole week. Uh, yesterday was Christmas shopping, which is, like, always a mistake. Not necessarily because, like, Christmas shopping, but I just, I can't stand being in, like, Target when it's busy. Uh, and... What else is there? Bunch of different games. Ooh. Okay, this might be a bit... This might be a bit shit. We have a means of getting up. I don't see... I don't see one of the monks. We're going to have to come back. Lady, wait. Oh, does my ally help with uh, ranged attacks? She might be the only one that does. Okay. I don't see any other spear dudes. Not yet. Okay, we're good. Have another mushroom. I should probably actually have some sap. Okay. I'm just going to keep chowing down on mushrooms for a while. So this is going to take me away from this entire mess. And I'm alone. Well, considering everything, I'm probably going to just switch over entirely to sap-based fighting. Or healing, sorry. The mushrooms were a good idea before everything got particularly spear-chucky. But then I get really spear chucky. Which is annoying. I'm here, lady. We must do battle. The shovels. You don't have a shovel. Therefore, you are ejected prematurely from any kind of standing that, that you may achieve by beating me. Which you won't, because you lack the shovel. 
I don't know what I'm saying. I've been watching Smash Bros. clips way too much. I've been watching, uh, there's a, a bunch of people doing, like, compilations of particularly unpopular calls. And I have been watching the shit out of those for reasons. Alright. I don't even watch Smash Bros. competitive. I have... I don't even have the, like, cursory interest in such things. Did he come back? No. They've all fallen down. Wow, that was effective. Nope, and we're down. Alright, whatever. I guess we can grab all the items down here at the very least. I wonder if they run back to where they were if they just kind of hang out down here waiting for me. I guess we'll see when a spear just lands in my butt. It's all spearheads. But... So if you want to send a game to Wander, what email should you use? Wanderbots at gmail.com W-A-N-D-E-R-B-O-T-S at gmail.com It's also just straight up uh, it's, it's listed on my channel on the about page on YouTube. I don't know if there's a easy place for it on Twitch, actually. I should probably include it somewhere, but I feel like I'll just get more spam. Some a-hole signed me up for a bunch of spam email crap recently, and I'm kind of tired of it. Luckily, most of it goes to a, uh, almost all of it goes to a, uh, to the spam folder, but every once in a while I get like a, uh, you know, something that's very overtly like, you know, meant for this other person. I guess they had, like, signed up for jobs? Like, job postings and stuff. Using my email address, which, like, why would you? I don't even, I don't even get the, the point of it, honestly, but they did. Okay. Big Featherman, I think I'm gonna give a give that a pass for a bit. We've got we've still got quite a lot in this area that I haven't checked out yet. And if we're lucky, my ally will come back. Ash and Fu infused gilded halberd. Ooh, fun. But yeah, we've got this whole area over here that I haven't even been to yet. Straight up didn't even react to her first hit. Oh, that went poorly. For both of us? There we go. Man, that's screaming, though. Oof. Oh, boy. Okay, there goes two of them. Because none of them have ranged attacks. Yo. I thought I had more time than I did. I was paying more attention to other things. Okay, this got tense. Oh, I didn't kill him. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a ramp. Okay. Uh, I've got three left. Still got some mushrooms, still got some other things. And I also only have to clear this place out once. Man, that heavy attack really doesn't do as much damage as I want. Oh, but that's fine. Sapient roots. 
A lot of upgrade materials, not a whole lot of other immediately useful things. I do wish there were kind of some shortcuts through this area, so if you died you wouldn't have to run through all of it. This game has beautiful environments, and they're fun to explore, but it lacks the Metroidvania uh, level design that i come to love from the series. It's more just like great ARPG level design. Which, like, grand scheme of things, ain't bad. Okay, so we had the nook that the dude hides in. Yep, here we go. The different weapons have different charge attack ratios. No, I know. It's just like, compared to the damage of R1 spam versus not, it just has always felt like the charge attacks were just a little peasly for me. We might have a feather man here. Oh, hey. Not a necessary... I mean, there is a feather man, probably. This is where I came from. Now, we've got a big in there. Where are we? Here. Oh, hold on. Bronzemeyer kill Cory. So there's someone back here that I gotta... I gotta get a murder on. Whoops. Almost fell. Let's see. So I see item over there. Are they back? Who is that? Oh, that's Corey. Okay, we've dealt with this place. Oh. Acrobatics messed me up a little bit. It's really hard to tell sometime if these ladies are are dashing, dodging, or smacking at me. And they also have iframes that I don't necessarily. Okay, I do see a checkpoint over here. I'm gonna go grab that before I think I do any more in this zone. I've just taken too many hits. I feel like I'm gonna regret not heading for it if I don't immediately. It looks like it's a pretty quick run, too. So unless I get ganked in the next, like, three seconds. They're pretty quiet here. Oh. Can't stand on those, apparently. All right, let's go find Cory. Most people probably shouldn't have respawned by this point. Who should be good? Okay, this per these people respawned. But I'm not even sure. Yeah, no, I killed them. But now I have a companion character and a hammer. Ooh, that noise. That is not a fun noise. Scream of death. Okay, do we have anything else here? No, doesn't look like it. Uh, have I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you go up the ball. Normally. Okay, so where's this Cory fellow? 
Man, I love the... I love the decor in each one of these areas. It's... I don't even know what's going on. What is this? I, I don't know what that is. Is it food? Is it cooking? Okay, so the Cory fellow actually is down further. Is there anything up here for anything? Maybe a little bit of climbing? It looks like maybe climbing, yeah. Explosions. No quarry. Because last time I saw them, they went running up. I guess they might just be in this entire zone wandering around. I figured they'd be in a fixed location like all the other ones. Oh, there he is. She doesn't stunlock nearly as well as the other ones do. That's actually really good to know. Now, last time we did this, it was a giant mess. It looks like she's got a shock move now. That's cool. So yeah, it looks like this Cory fellow actually runs between zones. Uh... More or less. Uh... Hiding amongst, amongst the goons to trip me up. Well... That does mean we're done with the zone. Okay, uh, so let's just go acro back across this way and go fight whatever biggins we're hiding over here. I think there's a couple of spear dudes, but they'll, they're not a problem. Yeah, biggin down here. Biggin down here. Hello, biggin! Your health is considerable. But your durability is questionable. I realize those are about the same thing, but he takes boatloads of damage from me punching him in the tallywhacker.